everybody. We're Sean and Steph, and we'd like to take a quick second to talk about a huge milestone that we just hit. So you may or may not know this, but we create a cruise log for every day that we travel out in the world. Sea days, port days, travel days, we create a vlog for every single day. And we are super excited to announce that we've officially released our 100th cruise vlog. It's so wild to think that we've traveled over 100 days since we started this journey last year. And if you haven't seen it, our Disney Magic Day 2 was our official 100th vlog. So crazy. So we were in Europe when the Disney vlogs released. We were cruising with P&O Cruises, and we didn't have a chance to talk about this awesome milestone. That's right. Since February of 2018, that's last year, we have traveled more than 100 days for our channel. It's all gone by incredibly quickly. And it has been such an incredible journey. First and foremost, we want to thank you, our fans, our friends, our cruise buddies, our Sean and Steph VIPs, our anonymous sponsors, our fellow creators. Thank you for your love and all your support. Thank you for following along with us and helping us chase our dreams. Our first 100 cruise vlogs saw us sailing on Norwegian Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, MSC Cruises, Celebrity Cruises, Carnival Cruise Line, Princess Cruises, and Disney Cruise Line. It's been an incredible, fantastic journey across 12 ships and more than 40 ports. We look forward to our next 100 cruise vlogs and to see where this journey takes us. To celebrate our 100 cruise vlogs milestone, we are going to share with you our favorite moments from every cruise, starting with our very first cruise, the Norwegian Epic, and going all the way to the Disney Magic. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so excited. All right. So our very first cruise last year was the Norwegian Epic. It was a seven-night Valentine's Haven Caribbean cruise with stops in Nassau, Falmouth, Grand Cayman, and Great Stirrup Key. It was all about the excellent food, amazing craft cocktails, unbelievable haven service, and spending quality time with Steph in a truly luxurious environment. My personal highlight was the fresh coconuts in Junkanoo Beach with Steph. That, that was, was so awesome. Fun. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. And my personal highlight is the NCL crew. Um, we have made lifelong friends. They truly feel like family to us, and we are truly thankful for everything they do on the ships. I mean, it's just amazing. So true. Our favorite day of that trip, I would have to favorite say it was day, day five. Definitely Grand, day five. Grand Cayman Distillery Tour. That was so cool. Seeing the process, tasting the fruits of their labor, it was just a fantastic day. It was so fun. I mean, it was just great to see the whole process of how things are made. I love that kind of experience and stuff so love that day love so the great. epic all right moving on to our next ship we did the norwegian getaway right after the epic literally a month later we did it was a seven night haven caribbean cruise with stops in roatan harvest key costa maya and cozumel we had fantastic food and drinks with excellent service and all that luxury that comes with the haven my personal highlight has got to be ziplining Superman style right across Harvest Key. I, wow, yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> it was so good. It's really hard to top that, but my favorite moment of the day was parasailing in Harvest Key. Mm -hmm. um, it was just such a great experience to be, I mean, we really felt like a bird. It was just the craziest thing. It was, I couldn't believe how quiet it was. It oh, was so peaceful. so peaceful and quiet up there. I mean, I have to do that again. We have to parasail again. Oh day. yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, so, so fun. So our favorite day, probably day four, yeah. same Harvest Key. I was able to conquer fears and able to participate in activities that I've never been able to do. Zip lines, rope walkways, rope courses, parasailing. I would truly never forget this day as long as I live. It was such a great day. If you haven't been to Harvest Key yet, you definitely have to go. Um, if you're on a Norwegian cruise line that stops there, get off the ship, walk around and check it out because it's such a great island. Loving it. Loving All right, it. so right after the getaway, we, the next following month, we went on the back on the Norwegian Epic, but this time for Stephanie's birthday, the transatlantic monkey birthday, where we went from Orlando, Florida, all the way to Barcelona. It was our first TA and wow, was it so much fun. Oh my gosh, it was just such a memorable, memorable trip. So like Sean said, it was 15 nights on the Epic. We went to uh, Bermuda, we went to Madeira and Funchal Madeira, Cadiz, Spain, Gibraltar, Malaga, Bar and then we ended up in Barcelona. It was our first transatlantic and it was so great. We didn't have any big waves. It was so no. amazing. I loved it. Um, life at sea with that many days and time changes. I mean, everything was just, everything was a crazy adventure. It was just such, so much fun. Loved it. Yeah, there was spectacular food, incredible cruise ship date nights because, you know, a lot of sea days means <laughs> a lot you have a lot nights. of sea day nights, right? <laughs> um, uh, fantastic, fantastic craft cocktails, uh, bowling. I mean, hello, bowling, bowling the ice bar. Uh, Haven service like no other, uh, martini tastings, and just of course, uh, once again, we've re reconnected with the crew that we met on the Epic a couple trips ago from prior to that, and now we're lifelong friends with them, and so, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I would have to say my highlight of that trip would have been sledding down a busy, narrow street in a wicker basket. Busy. Ooh. Busy. Uh, just, uh, just in a wicker basket in Funchal. That was, I can't, uh, that's exactly what we did. Grown so adults getting in a wicker fun. basket. It's something you do as a kid, and we just paid for it as adults, so there you go. It was so much fun. That was definitely a great 
part of the trip, but yeah. my highlight of, of the trip was my birthday. Monkey birthday. And it was with the monkeys. So if you've never been to Gibraltar, they have Barbary macaques that live there. Yeah. They're also referred to as, referred to as the Barbary apes. Uh, they are the best thing you could, I mean, I just... Monkeys are the best, and they're the also best. they are also monkeys, by the way. So they're macaques called apes that are actually monkeys. Yeah, keep that one straight. Inception. That's crazy. So that would also be our favorite day, though. <laughs> that right? was Gibraltar. also our favorite day. I mean, getting Gibraltar. to see the monkeys. It was my birthday. I mean, all the way around, it was just the best day ever. Well, we had so the, great. We had crazy cable cars, which I hate, yes. but Steph loves. We had the monkeys, yes, which were awesome, and we had a, a private tour from a monkey. You know, we so. did. And we also saw a monkey riding on top of a cab. So these yeah. are things you don't see every day. Had amazing spaghetti. I know that sounds strange. So great. And then went into giant caves that they play uh, concerts in. So yeah, it was a full day. And then we walked all the way back down. It was an amazing, amazing day. Fantastic. So day. great. Oh my gosh. And next up, we'll have our, we were on air, the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas. That's right. It was our first. Uh, it was our first Royal Caribbean Oasis class ship. Mm -hmm. um, it was our first time on a ship of that of that size. I mean, at that point, it was the third largest cruise ship in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it was, uh, we had a lot of different things that we did there. Um, it was our first experience with Royal Entertainment, which is some of the best entertainment that we've seen at sea. Worldwide, um, yeah. And that goes with music, the the musicians and the uh, performers, everything. Uh, we were on a seven night cruise with mm -hmm. stops in St. Martin, San Juan, and Labadee. Uh, my highlight was probably riding the Dragon Coaster in Labadee. It's I'm so a coaster fun. freak and I absolutely love it. There's only one position with that. There's no brakes, <laughs> so there are no brakes. So I loved it. What about your? Um, I think my highlight was it was our the Allure of the Seas was our our first official ship tour. That's right, it was. It was, and you know, like our our style, we didn't make it easy for ourselves. Our first ship tour was on one of the third largest cruise ship in the world, so it was a long ship tour. It took a long time. Um, if it has gotten better since then, <laughs> I think uh, I remember you crashing hard that. Oh day. man, I think I passed out. I really did pass out, but it was so cool. To, that's I'll never forget that it was our first ship tour day. But by far, our favorite day on this trip, and this and this trip is is yes. near and dear to our hearts. We have we have the memorabilia sitting in our house from this. It's day four, touring St. Martin with Johnny from Johnny Scooters and ATV Rentals. Johnny is one of the nicest people on the planet. So nice. He he took us under his wing and showed us everywhere on on St. Martin, and and he was so kind. We visited Oyster Pond, Galleon Beach. We visited the Iguana Man, Friars Bay, Marigot, and Maho Beach, of course. Uh, you know, there's just something pretty uh, empowering about driving an ATV all around the islands. It's just you got the breeze in your hair. You got Stephanie behind me yelling and screaming, <laughs> having a great time. We're just it was, it was so much. It was fun. the best day ever, and it led to many, many, many other ATV experiences because this one was so good. So yeah, definitely favorite day. It was such a great day. So what happened after that? Shit? So next up, we went on the MSC Seaside. It what, was our what? very first MSC cruise. Oh yeah. And it was our first cruise in the Yacht Club. Yeah. First chance trying that out. Uh, we had an inside stateroom in the Yacht Club, mm -hmm. and it was fantastic. I mean, it was absolutely spectacular. We loved every second of the room, loved the Yacht Club. Uh, we were on a seven-night Caribbean cruise, and we stopped in St. Martin again, San Juan, and Nassau. So, so what was your highlight? My highlight would probably be going from zip lining down the ship, and this is a legit zip line. This is a crazy zip on line. The ship. And then seconds later, having high tea in the top sail lounge in the Yacht Club. That was a, a pretty interesting, you know, dichotomy there. I think for me, my favorite highlight was meeting the captain. Um, MSC has the friendliest officer staff that we've ever met. So we actually got to met, meet the captain and he ha was appeared He appeared in our vlog, which was really, really cool. He was awesome. Captain Massa was amazing. So thank you for that. Yes, it was you, definitely captain. a highlight of, my tri of the trip for me and I loved it. I think our favorite day would be day four on this one. Uh, once again, driving around St. Martin. We were so hooked that we ended up booking again with Johnny and it was not the same tour. No, it um, went completely Which was awesome. Places. He did take us to Galleon Beach again but and to the Iguana Man again. We hung out, but then we went to Orient Beach, Friars Bay, Bay Rouge, which is Red Bay Beach, and then of course back to Maho. It was just one of those things where we, we fell in love with the island. So it, it was uh, just an incredible experience. And because it was a different, uh, different trip this time, we were able to see even more of the island and it was just another thing that sealed the deal for us in ATV tours. Yep. All right. So up after the MSC side was... What was it? The Celebrity Equinox. It was the Equinox. And we what? missed Captain Kidd and Bug by oh, like three by a days. Second. Oh. I mean, just a second. It was so close. Oh, oh my gosh. So this was our second cruise with Celebrity. Mm -hmm. we were first on a, for the channel. First for the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, we were on a seven-night Caribbean cruise. We stopped in Nassau, St. Thomas, and St. Martin again. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some of the best food. It was truly spectacular food. Craft cocktails that were so Ooh -wee. great. Ooh -wee. The service was unbelievable. Stellar. And we even got to create our own glass tumble tumblers and blow our own glass, which was probably so amazing. It was just so unique and well, amazing. Well, that's my highlight exactly. The oh, Hollywood yeah. hot glass class. We made stuff. 
We cool made stuff. stuff. We made stuff. We made hot glass on a cruise ship. That's, I mean, who can say that? Who can say that? And it was great. And we have them and we use them. So uh, that was a really fantastic highlight for me. So I have two highlights for this one. Okay. My first highlight is I had blue hair and it was the first time that I realized uh, I yes. don't like blue hair. Yes, <laughs> that was yes. a, that's a highlight that I will never forget. And some of our fans did not like your blue hair either. They, they <laughs> let know, us know. Yeah, it was, it was so. a change. Uh, but my highlight from the trip was the mixology class that we tried with oh, Celebrity. So it was so fun to actually participate in making drinks mm -hmm. instead of just tasting them. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we hadn't tried before and we had such a great time. Loved it. It was so great. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the uh, the mixology classes, the bartenders are a whole nother level on Celebrity. That's one of the great things about Celebrity. And I have to add a second highlight to mine as well. Oh, well, then add a second highlight. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, In-room breakfast. Hello, oh, what? So good. What? <laughs> it was the best. Yeah, there is it's nobody the else best. out there that does no, that. No, oh. it is the best breakfast. And we had a balcony, I believe. Yes, we, we did. We, yes, we, we had, had coffee and breakfast on our coffee, balcony. Coffee on the balcony. Oh. So great. And now our favorite day. What was our favorite day? Our favorite about? day would have to be probably day four, which is St. Thomas Day. Oh, uh, yeah, we Thomas. walked up the 99 steps, which <clears> it became was 103 steps. Yeah. Uh, we explored the island and it was just fun to just go around. The open air taxis were crazy. They're cool. Uh, they're really cool. So it was just a neat just to kind of explore St. Thomas and just see what we see. Yeah. So up after the equinox, almost right away, was the Carnival Horizon. Carnival, our very first Carnival cruise. Totally, it was an experience through and through. Oh my gosh, we didn't have we didn't have any idea what to expect. No um, idea. There are so many rumors and outrageous stories and mm -hmm. warnings, and you're just like, okay, what, what's going to so happen? So what ha what happened to us? Nothing happened yeah, to turns, us. <laughs> it turns out it's a cruise ship, everybody. And yes. It's the same as everything else, and it was awesome. It was so so great. Uh, we had there were, they have spectacular shows, mm -hmm. um, amazing, delicious specialty dining, mm -hmm. and unbelievable craft cocktails. I mean, it's just like any other cruise ship and it was fantastic. Uh, can I just get a, a shout out for Art at Your Table? Oh, Art at Your Table. Mm, mm, oh, mm. It is the best. Art at Your Table. If you are on a carnival ship and you are going to the steakhouse, try the Art at Your Table. Ooh, to the it's wee. so good. So oh, that, so that good. would have been a highlight had we been sailing out of a typical port for us, but yes, we didn't. We, we did sailed. Not. So my highlight is sailing out of New York City, in and out of New York City, both Ooh. dramatically different experiences. Obviously, one's early, early in the morning and one's late in the evening, and it was unbelievable. You can't explain Magical. seeing Manhattan from the sea. You can't explain seeing the Statue of Liberty from the sea. You just can't. You just, the Arizona Bridge. Yeah, that part's scary. I, I have a, a, an innate distrust for engineering and, and slipping and sliding eight feet beneath the bridge was like, Ugh. but yeah, it's, it's just a crazy unique experience and I highly recommend it. What yeah, about you? That what was your a, highlight? That's a great highlight, is, sailing out of New York. That was, was really awesome. Thanks, thanks. But my highlight was when we did Grand Turk in a golf cart. Now, our, this was our first time exploring an island by ourselves. So basically, you know, no tour guides, just us and, and GPS on our phone. That's all we had. So it was our very first time to go out. The cart was slow, it rained, uh, but it was really the best experience over. And it got us to start exploring on our own for other islands for future trips, which was pretty amazing. It was the very first time that we just grabbed a vehicle and went. So, yeah. uh, and uh, we love it when it rains. We love inclement weather because you remember it forever. You do. But our favorite our day favorite though. Our favorite day. Oh. Uh, this, this has to be, it. it's Shokau, which is a hands-on chocolate Shokau. experience. It was our very first introduction to Fathom and Fathom excursions and fathom uh, travel and uh, it really changed our lives forever we met some of the most incredible women on the planet this is a uh, a, a woman-run business where they make uh, artisanal chocolate and they do it the hardest possible way you could think of the most <laughs> organic natural way you can think of and it's a long drawn-out process in the heat no air conditioning lots of long hours and uh, you know you're just dripping sweat and um, I just admire every single person that we met there they touched our lives what, what yeah, I, I would agree with that. It was just such an amazing, um, amazing day that led to our next or another cruise um, mm -hmm. here down the line. It just was so awesome to get, be able to give back to the communities that we visit on vacations. Um, so it was just nice, nice way to sort of give back to the community and meet some amazing, amazing people. So great. For sure. And of course, because we loved the horizon so much, we doubled down on Carnival. And, we did. And immediately we did. went on the breeze for Halloween. We did our first Halloween our cruise. first Halloween cruise. Oh and we've done dressed up. We were on the Carnival. Uh, breeze mm -hmm. and uh, it was our first time sailing with a cove balcony, which that we was really crazy. liked. You it legit was feel like you're right above the ocean. <laughs> so you're like, you feel like you're like in a yacht, like you're just yeah, right like on the ocean just line. Reach it's out just and high five so a cool. dolphin. Um, it was we stopped in Amber Cove, St. Thomas, Grand Turk, and San Juan, mm -hmm. uh, which was such a great, great thing. So, what was your highlight of the Carnival Breeze trip? Well, uh, the Halloween party was insanity. Halloween I mean, party was really was, cool. If you a have a chance to go on a Halloween cruise, do it. And and who was our our CD? Who was our cruise director? It was Schwartz. Yeah, Schwartz. He was awesome. He was awesome. Oh, so good. Although my uh, my highlight, just like I said on on Horizon, my highlight is art at your table. You you got to understand, it's created in front of you. It's not presented to you. They make it in front of you, it's and art. then you destroy 
destroy it and eat it. So, I mean, it's just like, uh, it's, it's art. You, it's art that you eat. So, yeah. How, how about yours? You probably have more practical highlight than um, I do. My, I really liked snorkeling in Grand Turk. So we just did, had come back from the Carnival Horizon mm -hmm. with the land exploration on the, with our golf cart. So this time we wanted to try sea exploration um, and we did snorkeling there. They have a wall that looks out that goes from like really shallow to like super, super, super deep. Yeah, I don't it's a know huge the, shelf, yeah. the thing, but it's just, yeah, big shelf. And it was such a great day. I love that. But our favorite day of oh, all yeah. had mean, to have been our Halloween day. We were actually in San Juan mm -hmm. that day, and we uh, we went to explore Fortaleza Street, which is where the umbrellas are. If you're interested in seeing that, go to Fortaleza Street or ask somebody where it is. It's really close well, to the cruise ship. But you kept yelling at people. We were going to do Fortaleza. Yes. We had been to uh, San Juan <laughs> so many times, we had missed Fortaleza. We and missed apparently, the umbrellas every time. Apparently, we walked near it many, many times and just yes. never noticed. So that was the mission that day was Fortaleza and then costume party. Then how Halloween. Halloween. It was so much fun. I'm really excited because we have another Halloween cruise this year. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's coming up on coming what, up. MSC, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. What? Well, so toning it down a little bit, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving on the Royal Princess. That's Princess Cruises. And it was a Fathom cruise. It wasn't a holiday vacation. It was giving back to the community. And, and not only was that part soul fulfilling and, and just, just completely overwhelming with, with just joy and happiness to be able to give back, but it was the very first time that we got sponsored. It was. It was our very first sponsorship. Um, thank you to Brittany Watson and thank her you, company, um, Your Perfect Getaway by Brittany Watson. She sponsored our entire thing so we could experience the Fathom Cruise and experience the Fathom excursions that we got to do on the Royal Princess. And it was something that we, oh my gosh, it was soul fulfilling and mm. just absolutely wonderful it was just a wonderful experience i mean i just loved it so it was a seven night caribbean cruise it what? stopped in princess keys uh san juan amber cove and grand turk the last three ports were uh were fathom excursions so our stops in san juan amber cove and grand turk were all fathom excursions this included making paper instruments and planting trees for kids in San Juan, uh, helping a women-owned recycled paper business, very similar to the show Cal, it, uh, that was in Amber Cove, and then helping rebuild the National Museum of Turks and Caicos in Grand Turk that had gotten hit by not one, but two hurricanes within a record amount of time. Yes. One from one side, one from the other. Yeah. And so we spent the entire day fixing and cleaning and painting, and it was awesome. So my highlight, though, was Grand Turk. Painting the fences of the National Museum was, uh, was something amazing, because while you were painting, there were all these tourists and locals walking by going, what are you guys doing? And, yeah, we, it was really and we explained neat. it and they all disappeared. We're like, okay, they were just, they were, they were like curious. No, they all came back. They all, they came, all came back, back with change of clothes. They, even their kids had changed clothes and they all picked up brushes and buckets and trash bags and everything else that they could. And they all chipped in. So that was a really incredible experience. So if you ever go to Turks and Caicos and you're walking by and you see the bright blue fence at the Museum of Turks and Caicos, we helped paint that. We were part of that. Yeah, it was what, what? pretty fun to say. Uh, my highlight of the day was in San Juan. Again, that was also a Fathom excursion. Mm -hmm. We helped paint and make paper violins for a music program there in San Juan. Um, it was such a neat experience to be part of their arts program and help out the school. And the whole day was amazing. I mean, we got to meet the teachers and meet the kids and they had a concert. It was just a fantastic day and a great way to give back. I loved it. All right. And then after Thanksgiving came a wonderful Christmas and we spent our holiday on the Norwegian Bliss. We did. We were on the Norwegian Bliss. It was all decorated for Christmas. It was beautiful. We mm -hmm. loved it. Uh, we were on there for seven nights again. Uh, we were we left out of Miami and we went to St. Thomas, Tortola and Nassau. Um, there is amazing, spectacular dining on board. There's an amazing spa oh, on board. Oh, that thermal spa. Come on. And now. you got to give some love to the <laughs> go-karts. I think I, I'm willing to say we did give love to the go-karts. We gave a little bit of love to the go-karts. We, we should have a plaque. <laughs> we we should. really should. So I'm pretty sure that you guys know what all of our highlights and our favorite days are going to be. So let's have you tell your highlight. Yeah, I don't think we did anything other than eat good food, drink good drinks, and race go-karts. So I'm <laughs> going to go ahead and say nighttime go-kart racing for the win. It, yeah. Nighttime racing is way cooler. They have an unbelievable uh, lighting package and people are crazy. Yeah, it was really fun. So my, my highlight is definitely go-karts. It's all about the go-karts. Mm -hmm. And of course, our favorite day was our very last day when we had our big go-kart battle. It was head-to-head -head the entire week. Um, and it came up to be, you know, who's going to win the very last race that we did? And I won. Step one. So it was just great memories. And so I mean, awesome. go-karts. I'd see, what can you say? It just was the best. It was the best. <laughs> but after the bliss, shortly thereafter, or just a few weeks later, we jumped onto the Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. And at the time... It was the largest cruise ship in the world. Yes, it was. And um, it was our second cruise on an Oasis class ship. Mm -hmm. uh, we left out of Miami again, and we stopped in Nassau, St. Thomas, and St. Kitts. It was by far, by far, by the far. best food we've ever had on land or at sea. Mm -hmm. They have the best uh, specialty dining there. Spectacular flu food. 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 
Um, it was unbelievable stage shows, diving oh. shows, best music. I mean, wow. It's all about the wows with the Royal Caribbean, and they brought the wows. Yeah, for me, the highlights were uh, robot serve me drinks. I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> we're, we're in an era of robotic bartenders. That was awesome. It was just fun to see how much they spill. You guys are messy. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the, the, real, the real hero of everything for me was all the live music and the specialty dining. The specialty dining was insane, but the live music is second to none. I mean, this, the, the, the caliber of talent on royal ships are, are insane. Yeah, my highlight was... Uh, conquering the abyss slide ah, yes so if you don't know what the abyss slide is if you've seen any of the royal caribbean advertisements it's that big purple slide with the big fish head that you go down it is very intimidating it is probably one of the most intimidating things i've ever done when you actually get up to the platform it's see-through so you actually look down to the ocean mm -hmm. it's very scary it took me forever to actually go down the slide she was on the platform <laughs> waiting to, to go down the slide for a long time i'm sitting there at the bottom of the slide going wow i don't remember this many people being in line before her there was nobody in line it was i mean it was just yeah. me i was i was sitting there talking to the one of the crew members and then mm -hmm. she's like it's really okay actually no she told me she's never slid before i was like yeah, what? She, she was scared but she, she was, was like, scared if you'll to do it, slide I'll do it. as well so it, was, yeah. it took me a long time but i conquered my fear and i actually did the Probably slide and it was such a, an accomplishment for the day and then you did it again i did it again yeah so that, I, that's my highlight of the day was conquering the abyss slide What's so your favorite what, day? My favorite day? Well, St. Kitts. I mean, <clears throat> oh my on. gosh, yes, St. So Kitts. It was like, it was like uh, driving an ATV around St. Martin times infinity. Uh, St. Yes. Kitts is hilly. It has mountains. It has different uh, uh, climates. We, at one point, we were actually getting very chilly. It yeah. was crazy. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful island. And it was not, there was no tour involved. It was completely self-guided. So once again, we took it uh, to a whole other level where they just handed us a, uh, the keys to an ATV and said, be, See ya. be back before your ship leaves, basically. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, it was insane, and I loved it, and it, it was just crazy. I mean, yeah, there was no tours, no mm -hmm. guides, just us, and again, GPS. Mm -hmm. And from our golf cart adventure, this one went a little bit faster, or a lot, oh, a bit, lot, faster. lot a bit faster. Um, so it was nice to have that experience with the golf cart, and we just we just tooled around. We just yeah. used our map, and we're like, here's a stop, here's a stop. We saw monkeys again. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just a fun, fun day. Gorgeous fort. I mean, just oh, beautiful, yeah. fun. beautiful. So fun. All right, so then our very last uh, cruise that led to our 100th cruise vlog was on the Disney Magic. What? What? It was our first cruise with Disney Cruise mm -hmm. Line, and it was our second sponsorship from Brittany Watson and we her company, you, Your Perfect Getaway by Brittany Watson. Um, I mean, there's just, it was just something so amazing to have her sponsor us and have the faith in us um, to do what we do. And we cannot thank you enough. So thank you very much. If you do not know her, check the links below. Your Perfect Getaway by Brittany Watson. She's an amazing, amazing person. Love her. Yeah, we don't take it lightly that people put faith in us. We don't, we, we take that very seriously. So we, we thank you so much, Brittany, for believing in us and helping us uh, continue to bolster our channel. Most likely we, we would have not, at least not by now, we'd have not have sailed to Disney if it wasn't for you. Yes, so thank you so true. much. Um, so let's talk Disney. Uh, so we were on a five-day cruise. Yep. We were on a Marvel cruise, which yeah, it was is kind of cool. Day at sea. Yep. Yeah. So we stopped in Key West, our mm -hmm. first Key West visit. Yep. Um, Believe Nassau. it or not, we both have lived in Florida forever <laughs> and have never been to Key West. We went to Key West, Nassau, and Castaway Key. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had our Marvel Day at Sea during mm -hmm. one of our sea days. Uh, we had it. We got to experience Palo, which is their specialty dining adult-only so restaurant. So good. So so good. Uh, fantastic drinks at Keys. Mm -hmm. They have great. Steak stage shows, deck parties. I mean, it's Disney. They know how to do the entertainment. So yeah. it was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, if you're interested in Disney IP, if you want all the characters, not some characters, but if you want all the characters all the time, like even in stairwells, one of them jumped out at Stephanie and she's like, ah, we had another character jump out and yell boom. They saw our mic and just kept yelling boom, boom. mic, boom, boom, boom. So if you want all the characters, this yes. is definitely something that only Disney can do. Um, my highlight would be snorkeling in the rain and the absolute freezing temperatures. It was cold. It, it was, was early in the year. Cold. The water was freezing, freezing and it was raining. So it was cold in the water and it was cold in the air. So it was just cold. As a matter of fact, I actually tried to convince Stephanie to just bail on the snorkeling. I didn't think That's it would a be no. a big deal. And she said, no, it's, it, we'll no. just, so we, we sucked it up and it was an hour in freezing cold uh, water. I never got warmer in the water, no, but it was worth every warm. second because I got a big old close up with Mickey. I, I dove down there and got a real big close up shot with Mickey. So that was good for me. Yeah, what was, was your highlight? So my highlight was basically just the rain in general. Uh, we rode bikes in the rain, and then, we, of course, we went snorkeling in the rain. We, even in the worst of weather, we still have the best day. Yeah. And it brings, because it's bad weather, you remember those days more. So we have more memories from the rain at Castaway Key sure. than any other day that we had on the Disney ship. And it was pretty fun to sit back and remember all those Fun, so, fun moments. So that was obviously our favorite day. Then. Yes, Castaway Key. Castaway Key was definitely our favorite favorite it, day. I didn't think it was going to be the best private island that we've been to because it's probably one of the oldest at this point, and it is so it's it's done only the way Disney does. Yeah. Everything's got 
music and VO and you know professional vehicles and pavement and it's just it's light years beyond that and it's huge and we got to ride bikes from one end of the island to the other we got to ride bikes on an, on, on a landing strip that's right I, I mean that's crazy I've never that's been right. on a runway before <laughs> now so I have neat. So cool, so, so cool. Such a great day. If you've never been to Castaway Key and you're on Disney Cruise, try to find one that has that a part of your itinerary because it is an amazing private island and not to be missed for sure. So that's it for our first 100 cruise vlogs. As of the recording of this video, we're well past 100. We're closer to 120 or so. I'm, I've just finished wrapping up our P&O Ventura cruise and I'm currently cutting our P&O Azura cruise. So we're a good another 16 cruises in plus the four that uh, are past the, t the 100 from Disney. So we're looking at 120 cruise vlogs right now. So ah, I just can't wait to see where the next 100 take us. Thank you so much for joining us yes, on our journey. Thank you so much. We cannot do this without each one of you, mm -hmm. all of your views, all of your subscribers, all of our subscribers, you guys, make us you know you you guys you're allow our cruise us to do this. we love you we do we absolutely love each and every one of you and thank you for thank you. allowing us to make 100 cruise vlogs yes, for that's you awesome. i mean that's just wonderful here's to the next 100 cruise vlogs everybody. here's to the next 100 i can't wait to see what happens bye, bye.